Kia Ora. Welcome to our channel, where we explore the most beautiful and exciting destinations around the world. Today, we're taking you on a journey to a country that's known for its stunning landscapes, rich culture, and adventure activities, New Zealand. Specifically, we're counting down the top 10 places you need to visit when you're in the land of the long white cloud. So buckle up and let's get started. Number 1. Aoraki Mackenzie International Dark Sky Reserve Let's start with a place that's truly out of this world. Located in the South Island, this reserve is one of the best places in the world to stargaze with minimal light pollution and breathtaking views of the night sky. It's a must visit for any space enthusiasts or those who simply want to see the stars in a whole new way. There are several tour operators that offer stargazing tours in the Auraki Mackenzie International Dark Sky Reserve. Some of the popular tours include Stargazing Nights, Astrophotography Tour, and Indigenous Night Sky Tour. According to Maori legend, the stars in the night sky are believed to be the spirits of their ancestors. The constellations are said to represent the various tribes and families that make up the Maori people. The stars are also associated with the natural world and the cycle of life and death. Auraki Mackenzie Dark Sky Reserve is truly an experience not to be missed when traveling to New Zealand. Number 2. Bay of Islands Next up, we have the Bay of Islands, located in the north of the North Island. This stunning region is known for its turquoise waters, picturesque islands, and abundant marine life. The area offers a wide range of activities, including island hopping, snorkeling, diving, fishing, sailing, kayaking, and hiking. Here you can also find the famous Hole in the Rock, a stunning natural formation that has become iconic landmark in New Zealand. The Bay of Islands is also rich in cultural heritage. Visitors can also learn about the region's history and culture by visiting the Waitangi Treaty Grounds, museums, art galleries, and craft shops. The local cuisine is a fusion of traditional Maori and modern New Zealand flavors. The Bay of Islands is a must-visit destination for anyone interested in adventure, nature, and culture. Number 3. Lake Tekapo Lake Tekpo is a stunning glacial lake located in the heart of the South Island. Known for its striking blue color and stunning views of the surrounding mountains, it became a popular destination for outdoor enthusiasts and photographers. Visitors can enjoy a variety of activities like skiing, hiking and fishing, as well as scenic boat tours and helicopter rides for breathtaking views. The lake is also home to the Mount John Observatory, which offers spectacular views of the night sky and is a popular spot for stargazing. Here, you can also relax in the natural hot springs, visit the Lake Tekpo Museum, and enjoy the local cuisine at one of the many restaurants and cafes in the area. Number 4. Milford Sound Next, we have Milford Sound, located in Fiordland National Park. This stunning fjord is known for its towering cliffs, waterfalls, and lush rainforests. Here you can take a scenic boat tour to explore the sound and its many waterfalls, or kayak through the tranquil waters. The area is also home to a variety of wildlife, including penguins, seals, and dolphins. Milford Sound is a must-visit destination for anyone looking to experience the natural beauty of New Zealand. Number 5. Hobbiton Movie Set If you're a fan of The Lord of the Rings, you won't want to miss the Hobbiton Movie Set, located near Matamata in the North Island. This is where Peter Jackson brought Middle-earth to life, and you can take a guided tour of the movie set, including Bilbo and Frodo's homes, the Green Dragon Inn, and the Party Tree. To reach Hobbiton Movie Set, you can take a shuttle bus from Rotorua or Matamata. You can book your tickets online through the official Hobbit and Movie Set website or through a local tour operator. 
Prices can vary depending of the tour you choose. It's recommended to book in advance as tours often sell out quickly, especially during peak season. Number six, Mount Cook National Park. Now, let's head back to the South Island and Mount Cook National Park, home to the highest mountain in New Zealand, Mount Cook or Auraki in Maori language. Auraki is a name that holds great significance for the Maori tribes of New Zealand. In Maori mythology, Auraki was a powerful ancestral being who was said to have sailed to New Zealand from Hawaii, the ancestral homeland of the Maori people. Auraki was believed to have brought with him the knowledge and skills necessary to survive in the new land, and he was said to have founded the Ngati Poru tribe, which is still present in the area today. The name Auraki is derived from the Maori word for cloud, and it is said that Auraki was able to control the weather and bring forth clouds and rain to nourish the land. This park is a paradise for hikers and climbers, with numerous trails and routes to explore, and even if you're not an experienced climber, there are plenty of scenic walks and stunning views to enjoy. There is a stunning glacier in Mount Cook National Park, the Tasman Glacier, a breathtaking natural wonder with its towering ice walls and ethereal blue hues that seem to glow in the sunlight. The park is also home to a variety of wildlife, including Kia, the world's only alpine pair, and the rare and endangered Kakapo. Visitors can also learn about the area's rich cultural history at the Mount Cook National Park Visitor Center. Number seven. Marlborough Sounds. Marlborough Sound is a picturesque waterway located in the South Island of New Zealand. It is known for its stunning scenery with towering cliffs, lush forests, and crystal clear waters. One of the most interesting facts about Marlborough Sound is that it is a tidal river, meaning that the water level rises and falls with the tides. This unique feature creates a fascinating environment with the water level changing by up to two meters, 6.6 .6 feet in just a few hours. There is a range of activities such as boat tours, kayaking and fishing, as well as exploring the surrounding countryside which is known for its wine production. Marlborough Sound is also home to several historic sites, including the famous Ship Cove, which was a favorite anchorage spot for Captain James Cook during his voyages to New Zealand in the 18th century. Number eight, Queenstown. Adrenaline junkies, this one's for you. Queenstown is the adventure capital of the world with activities like bungee jumping, skydiving, and whitewater rafting. And even if you're not looking to push your limits, there are plenty of scenic flights, boat tours, and hiking trails to enjoy with several viewpoints for scenic views. Queenstown is a beautiful resort town located in the South Island of New Zealand, surrounded by the stunning Southern Alps and Lake Wakatapu. Here, you can admire the breathtaking views of the surrounding mountains and lake from the top of the skyline gondola, or simply by driving around the coastal line. The town also offers a variety of restaurants, bars, and shopping options, as well as a vibrant nightlife. Queenstown is a destination that offers a wide range of activities and breathtaking scenery, making it a great place to visit for anyone traveling to New Zealand. Number 9. Rotorua Located in the North Island, about three hours drive from Auckland, Rotorua is a hub of Maori culture and geothermal activity. Visit Waiotapu, a geothermal park with colorful hot springs and geysers, the park features a variety of unique geothermal attractions, including the famous Champagne Pool, the vibrant Blue Pool, and the mesmerizing Lady Knox Geyser. Rotorua is renowned not only for its geothermal wonders, but also for its therapeutic mud, which offers a unique and rejuvenating spa experience for visitors. Explore the park's many walking trails, take a guided tour, or simply sit back and enjoy the natural beauty of the area. And if you're feeling adventurous, try your hand at zorbing or luging down one of the nearby hills. If you rent a car, you can easily reach a series of picturesque lakes within a short drive. 
These lakes offer beautiful picnic spots and free barbecue areas, perfect for a relaxing meal surrounded by nature. Another option is to take a tour through the Maori village to learn about the local culture. Maori village tours typically consist of a guided visit to a traditional Maori village, where visitors can learn about Maori culture and history, see traditional performances, and participate in cultural activities such as a hangi, traditional feast, or a pauhiri, welcome ceremony. The tours are usually led by local Maori guides who share their knowledge and stories about their culture and traditions. And finally, number 10, Waiheke Island. Waiheke Island is a beautiful island located in the Hauraki Gulf, just a 40-minute boat ride from Auckland. It is renowned for its stunning beaches, picturesque vineyards, and olive groves. The island offers a unique microclimate due to its location in the Hauraki Gulf, which provides a mild and sunny climate with warm summers and mild winters, making it an ideal spot for growing grapes and olives. Here you can indulge in wine tasting tours and savor the island's world famous wines, with over 30 vineyards present on the island, offering a diverse range of wines to sample. Be sure to take a map of all the vineyards on the island so you can plan your wine tasting adventure before arriving. Beyond wine tasting, visitors can immerse themselves in the pristine beauty of the island's beaches, explore the many cafes and restaurants, or simply take a scenic walk through the island's idyllic countryside. With its beautiful scenery and relaxed atmosphere, Waiheke Island is a highly popular destination for both locals and tourists alike. And there you have it, folks, the top 10 places to visit in New Zealand. From its breathtaking landscapes to its rich culture, we hope you have enjoyed this virtual ride with us through this stunning country. If you did enjoy this tour with us and would like to see more easy listening video guides, then don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.